What's up Guiding Bolt fans, this is Nick and I just wanted to throw together a quick video talking about some of the useful websites that I utilize for printing out D&D miniatures. So we're going to take a look at a couple of resources to use for downloading the miniature files themselves as well as um, a good resource for getting a uh, an out of the gate kind of profile to use if you have an Ender 3, 5, or CR 10. And I personally have a uh, Ender 3 from Sane Smart. So to start off, we are looking at uh, shapeways.com. And what you're going to want to do is search the marketplace and change this drop down to shops. And we are going to search for the DM workshop. And what we're going to find is. Uh, Miguel Zavala's store here and what he has done is put together a massive library of uh, D&D miniatures that you can download and print out for free. All you have to do is uh, sign up for a Shapeways account and log in. That's it. So if we scroll down a little bit here, there are over 900 miniatures that you can download and print here. And you can see it's broken down into a bunch of different categories over on the left. There is literally something here for everyone. And my, uh, my personal favorite to date, if we scroll on a little bit further, is this guy right here. It's the, uh, the party Shrek. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't need a party Shrek in their campaign, right? So once you find the one you want, all you gotta do is click on it, and if you are again signed up and logged in you will see this download section if you are not signed in you will not see this um, but then you'll also have this little link down here for download product all you got to do is click on that and you're going to be able to save uh, that stl file off to your computer that way you can upload it to your uh, to your printer to print out so i've already downloaded that i don't need to save another copy so uh, this is i haven't found a uh, a better resource to date than, uh, than this. So thank you, Miguel, for all of your awesome and hard work. Um, check this out. Amazing resource. Um, now, if by chance you don't find what you're looking for here, another resource is uh, Thingiverse. It's a little bit more, it's a little hit and miss. Um, not everything is free here, but if you go over to Thingiverse and just, uh, you can see I've searched for Goblin on this uh, cute little goblin right here, which I think I actually printed out uh, when I initially started, I printed this guy out and this is Droop in our uh, campaign for the Lost Minds of Fandelver. So that's droopy right there. <laughs> so uh, anyways, all you gotta do is uh, search for what you're looking for, download files, same kind of thing. Once you have it saved locally, just go ahead and upload it to your printer to print out. Now, as far as profiles are concerned, a lot of, uh, a lot of the 3D uh, printers are getting better about um, right out of the gate. Um, I guess profiles, I should say, not the printers. But um, so for instance, Cura is the software that I use. And Cura, by default, right out of the gate, their uh, kind of their pre-made profiles do a pretty darn good job um, for printing uh, for printing out 3D stuff. But if you want to fine tune it or get something, uh, a profile that's kind of geared towards miniatures and then kind of tweak it from there, um, what I would recommend doing, and again, this is if you have a CR or a a CR10 or an Ender 3 or 5, check out fatdragongames.com. So under resources, if you click on this uh, profiles link, and there's a link that says click here to download, there is uh, pre, um, pre-created profiles, or I guess profiles that they have created that you can download and import into, uh, into Cura. So take a look at this there are uh, different profiles depending on whether you have a three millimeter or a four millimeter extruder whether you want to print miniatures or terrain so this is the uh, this is the site that I use to uh, to get a good um, a good starting profile for my uh, for my 3d printer um, so yeah check that out if you have any questions go ahead and toss it down in the comments and then if you uh, if you say well this 3d printing sounds like too much work it's just not for me but you still want a uh, custom miniature, then I would check out heroforge.com. Um, I, I like this pose here. It's kind of like, uh, what are you waiting for? Customize me and buy me already. So basically what you do is you just go to this site, you pick your uh, pick your race, and then you can go through and completely customize this guy. So let's give him, uh, let's give him some clothes first off. He kind of looks like a, he looks like a chef to me. So just go through see here that uh, you can uh, it's it's very highly customizable you can have them uh, there's different poses you can have them on a mount 
Um, you can pick what they have in their hands. This is a, a really slick site. I've actually ordered a couple of miniatures off here for uh, my when I'm playing um, and I uh, and I create a character that I really like. I'll come on here and customize them and get my own miniature. Or if I have just a, a really dastardly nasty NPC that's going to be around for a while, I might come here and uh, customize one and get it um, get it ordered as well. Um, Typically pay around 20 bucks. I just get the uh, the plastic ones, but there are different options. So uh, so check it out. And uh, that's about it. If you uh, if you have any questions, go ahead and toss it down in the uh, comments. Um, as always, please uh, consider subscribing and liking. We do put out uh, weekly content. Um, otherwise, thanks for watching, and uh, until next time.